Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video from Electrical Installation Triple E. Please do smash a like on my video, comment and share. If you have any thoughts or question that you want to ask, or any question whatsoever you want to ask, you please, you can comment below. If you're new on this channel, please subscribe Electrical Installation Triple E. Now today we're going to do a tutorial video on these receptacles right here. That I'm having in my hand. And you can see there is a difference. It have different purposes. It always can use because it provides electricity and you can always go boils in it. But there are reasons for using this in certain years and this certain years. Now, this one in Jamaica we call it broad based receptacle. Like for it, um, but in these other countries like in the States and so forth, they call it medium based receptacle and bowl. And uh, in even in some countries also they are so called it shoulder receptacle. But in Jamaica we call it broad based receptacle. So I'm just gonna call it broad based receptacle to make the video more understanding. This right here, we call it shoulder receptacle in Jamaica. In other countries they call it broad based button holder. So it depending on where you are, but I'm just gonna call it shoulder receptacle to make the video more understandable. Okay, but there is a difference in, in both of them. As you can see, this one of an extra piece right here. So if you notice, right here we are screwing the bulb. And this, this one is much more deeper because this one extends higher than this one. Okay, so what I want to talk about today is the purpose of this right here. So the purpose of this right here is to, uh, is to prevent you from getting electrocuted because a lot of time people have been screwing bulbs into these and the way um, a lot of people hold the bulbs it's so um, a lot of people don't hold bulbs the right way whenever they are screwing it a lot of people choke it, choke it like they hold it the whole thing like this so this is where you get electrocuted you can get electrocuted by your, your, your finger, your hand touching onto this. The correct way to screw in a bulb is like this. Never hold this side or hold this. Hold this right here and then turn. Okay? Okay. The purpose of this right here now, this um, receptacle right here, is we mainly use this one in water areas, like bathroom. As you can see, I'm in a bathroom right now doing this video. If we use this in bathroom, washroom areas, and so forth. Um, and why we use these in the bathroom areas and so forth? For instance, you 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 are at your house, bulb blow something. You need to change your bulb light um, switches on, and you want to change it. A lot of time, people in their bathroom, your feet are wet, your feet are damp, whatever water because it's a water here, anything can possible and you want to you, you go ahead and screw the bulb so what this does is protect you from electrocuting whenever time even if you hold on to the to it down here by the time you should reach into it this protect you also from getting electrocuted so this is the purpose of this so that's why we use it mainly in the bathroom areas and so forth so it does so it just prevent you from electrocuting all right, this one right here. We this one is more um, it used mainly in the house because it used wherever in the bedroom, um, living hall, dining, wherever this one used. So this one mainly gonna use. So most of the time, when electrician order um, receptacles for your house, you're gonna find most of these because these use everywhere else except in the washroom area and the bathroom area. All right, now I want to show you how you can get electrocuted with this one right here. All right, a lot of the time people hold on to the bulb, or even when they screen out the bulb, even when they screen out the bulb, a lot of the time people, whenever time they screen out the bulb, they tend to get a finger touch right here. So, look. So you can see there is no protection right here. So that is the difference, as you can see, there is no protection right here. So if this is in a bathroom and you 
not know anything about electricity and you're gonna screw out the bulb because it is blue or something like that it's gone but light switch is on you're gonna um, a lot of the time most people are gonna just hold it like this and then you're gonna just turn they are barefooted and anything like that immediately you get shot so please people take note this is very very important this is serious that's why we mainly recommend these to use in the bathrooms so if you notice right here you see so if you if you if you if your feet even um if there's water on the floor if it even wet or anything like that you can still back this out without being electrocuted or anything like that but this one you can see no protection right here no protection so that's why we use these main bed rooms and so forth like that where it's a dry location but keep in mind this can also use in the bedroom and other places just like this it cannot it can use everywhere this one it can use everywhere because once you have this it's a protection so once it have a protection and it's more protective than this one i think it is more safer but a lot of people don't like these in their bedroom and so forth i don't know if because of the the beauty or i don't know if, why but a lot of people rather to see these one in their bedrooms but this one you can get electrocuted whenever time you're removing a bulb or screwing a bulb so please keep in mind so this is the difference between these two show the receptacle broad base receptacle these one mainly used in the bathroom areas washroom areas water areas this one bedroom living staircase wherever so please do smash a like my video comment and share electrical installation triple e